you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. It's another beautiful day in Ohio. And this morning I'm heading out, I'm going to go to an auction. I'm going to try to get my brother into a camper. He's looking for a pop-up because he works the pipelines and he moves around a lot. Right now he just wants something small to get him out of the hotels and motels that he's staying at. He found a place that has a shower and bathroom facilities and he just wants to try it out. So there's a pop-up that's coming up. Uh, real close to a family member of his so we're gonna go head down that way I'm not gonna bore you with the drive it's about a 50 minute drive I think the pop-up is going to be kind of cool because I've had one in the past so let's uh, go down there and see what that's about alright so we made it to the auction and everything looks pretty good on the camper it's an older camper it needs a little bit of attention inside to make it look nice and be nice but we're here you can see all the people's lined up how long did it take for all these guys to show up? Maybe in a, uh, since about nine this morning. So about an hour. It's got congested. Unfortunately, the camper is going to sell as one of the last things, so we're going to be here a while. But let's go check that out, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys. So here's the camper. Look at this bad boy. Now I know it needs a lot of work, but I've had one just like this, and these things are pretty cool. They're pretty cool campers. Uh, they have like a 10 gallon holding tank for fresh water uh, and then a refrigerator that runs on all three electric 12 volt whatever and you can see the inside here really cool let's go ahead and walk around the other side see here they got the door kind of jacked up right now but yeah these are uh, these are good little campers like I said missing a few things ours was uh, Ours was in pretty good shape whenever we sold it. We got a really good deal on it. This folds down to a bed, this gaucho couch. And then uh, they don't have the sides all the way in. And although it shows a little bit of weather, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. The plastics are in good shape. It's easy to tow. So I'm going to try to get this for him. And uh, maybe he can uh, have himself a little place to hang out whenever it's time for him to move from job site to job site I told him uh, 500 he says he'd pay up to seven so we'll have to see how that works out whenever bidding goes all right guys so you can see he got the camper I bid for him and we got it for 550 bucks so we put it all down and we got to address the tire issue before we tow it anywhere because although that tire is still holding air this one here you can tell is on the flat side so we need to uh, pull this tire off and see what it takes but we got it I'll update you guys a little bit further down the road alright guys so it's the next day <laughs> it's the next morning we got here uh, the camper towed okay everything was alright and we got to where we needed to go at a relatively quick pace the tires we had to make some uh, adjustments to as far as putting slime in them to get them to where they held air long enough to make the trek back which was about 40 miles I guess uh, maybe maybe closer to 48 miles but it did okay it did fine when we got it back here we set it all up uh, not bad let me go ahead and show you the the disaster that we got going on right now but it's um, it was up it was all set up and we were just trying to look at everything and look at look it over we're getting ready to go outside and pressure wash it it's raining today so we figured why not just go ahead and clean it and scrub it and then uh, try to rinse it off the best we can and the rain's going to do the rest because it's only about 53 so let's look inside well, there's the table that goes actually on the other end of the camper which I'll turn around and show you that now I don't want to be spinning you guys around and uh, this is the gaucho couch there's storage underneath this thing slides out uh, of course there's a bed end there uh, that you can sleep on and there's the cushions for the dinette of course all this cabinet space and the stove and the refrigerator we're gonna look at the refrigerator today see if it works of course the sink like I said it's missing a faucet we'll have to take a look at that also uh, we found there's a little bit of a leak here but it could be possibly the way we have it set up maybe it's not leveled quite right and this is the way our pop-up looked before we painted it um, the paint just comes off it just flakes off after a certain period of time I mean this is a 1977 
Uh, we'll clean the windows today and scrub them up a little bit, a little bit, and then of course this is storage underneath the dinettes where you uh, have the dinette cushions, and this is where the table goes right here that I showed at the beginning. And then this is another bed end, so it's kind of nice because he's going to set this up to where he has storage on one end and he's going to sleep on the other end because he's going to be at a, a campground for the whole summer in this, and that's one of the benefits of these Apache hard sides. Uh, the canvas don't take a beating from the UV rays because there is no canvas. Um, this plastic, although it becomes brittle over many, many years, again, this is a 77 and it's still holding strong. So let's go outside and take a look. Right now it's dirty and we're about to change that when we get a chance. See here, the outside all set up. And this is the way it was supposed to be set up at the... Uh, the auction but good thing they didn't know how to set it up because I think we got it a little bit cheaper because of that um, because a lot of people didn't understand it and what it looked like and what it should look like but yeah like I said it's pretty dirty so we're gonna do a little bit of repair inside to make sure that the windows there's two windows that have small cracks in them we'll put some clear tape on that and then uh, close all the screens up to where it's windows only and then I'll get my pressure washer out. We'll put some car wash in a bucket and scrub this thing down and try to make it look nice. Uh, as far as something that doesn't look like it's been sitting for, how long has it been sitting? 13 years? 2002. 2002. So 2002 was the last time this was opened <laughs> until that auction yesterday. So that should tell you how well these things are built. So again, kind of rough looking, but for 550 bucks, that's a good deal for what it is. We'll go ahead and straighten it out, make it a little bit more livable and clean, and go from there. I'll give you a shot of this whenever it's cleaned up here, what it looks like as far as just with a quick pressure wash, but you know, it's been sitting for so long, it's bound to have some dirt on there that's going to stain to some extent, and without really scrubbing and waxing it, um, it's probably still going to look a little dingy, but here you go. This is it. And you can see we have an extra extension cord, that way he could run a little portable heater in there because this older converters and these older wiring in these campers you definitely don't want to put a high draw like a microwave or a, a portable heater that's um, you know run off electricity into the outlets of the camper because either the inverter is going to pop a, a breaker or you're going to possibly overheat that wire that's currently in there because they just weren't made for that I mean this is basically just used mainly with fans to stay cool and lighting inside and whatever other small utensils so if you run another heavy extension cord specifically for those hard heavy draw items that way you don't screw around with the inverter and, and have a problem with it that's what we're doing today and the nice thing about it is uh, I think it's warm enough that we're going to uh, eventually open our camper next week we'll have to see how the weather treats us really and uh, I'll be able to get my pressure washer and hoses out and everything and we'll hook our camper up and start going through that process. So as always, hope to see you guys out there. Bye.